Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with me. I am Jake from Jake and Joel are Magic. Today we are doing an Arena Play Tuesday. I am going to be playing Esper Control. It is Esper simply for Tefri. You see the deck list over there on the left. Please peruse. But we're just going to go ahead and we're going to play some Dominaria, rank constructed. So, a little bit about this deck. Uh, you'll see we have Opt, Essence, Scatter, Negate. We have a good counter package. Um, because there is so much, uh, this looks keepable. Get a couple Freebooters. We have Submerged Boneyard, Glacial Fortress. This, this is totally a keepable hand. Uh, but a little bit about this deck. There is a lot of aggro in the format. So you will see there are four Golden Demise. To deal with this, I have four Champion of Wits. So if we don't need Golden Demise, uh, we just Champion of Wits it away. We'll just start with a Submerged Boneyard here. We're playing against opponent Dragon Ball. All right, so we draw another land. This is good. This is good for our cause. All right, so at this point we have Black Up. So uh, we are playing against, oh God. Meandering River. You know what that means. We're about to freebooter into what's going to be Approach of the Second Sun. Get ready for it. Oh, it's actually... I bet Approach is in here, but this is more of like a uh, Embalm kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, take Cast Out. It's easy for us to play around Spell Pierce now that we know our opponent has it. Yep, they play Sacred Cat. We'll go ahead and get our Glacial Fortress out here. All right, so at this point, like, playing against this opponent, you know, we see they have Angel of Sanctions, Spell Pierce, Champion of Wits. This is going to be a match of attrition, so it's probably going to come down to, like, one big stack later in the game. Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and do another Freebooter. And then we are going to stay up for Opt. Uh, I do think at this point we just take Spell Pierce. Uh, we'll go combat and attack. We will attack with our freebooter. There's no reason for us not to. And enter. So this deck is pretty sweet. Uh, I have a pretty good win percentage with it. When it first came out, it was the uh, Demir deck that came stock with MTG Arena. God, I would love to syncopate this. Maybe I should have stayed open for syncopate here. Actually, syncopating the Regal Caracal would be really good. Or the Angel of Sanctions. So the champion will resolve. They're going to draw some cards. They're going to pitch some cards. But originally when this deck came out, it was just the Demir deck that came stock with MTG Arena. Uh, I eventually uh, acquired the Scarab Gods, the Teferis. You know, I've slowly got stuff like Glacial Fortress, Isolated Chapel, Drowned Catacomb. These are cards that a lot of people, you know, don't really have. Like, you don't really want to spend your rare wild cards on do, on check lands. Uh, do we scry an island to the top? I think we do. It's always good in the control matchup to make sure that you continue to draw land. All right, so we do find a Champion of Wits. We know that our opponent has pitched Regal Caracal away. We know that they have Angel of Sanctions. They have three cards that we are not sure what they are. So there might be merit to us just kind of like staying open with Essence Scatter and Syncopate here. Uh, so I think what we do is we just... Do we attack? I think we cancel attacks. No, actually we can attack one. We'll enter. So we're really hoping that our opponent plays something here that we can either syncopate or essence scatter. We'll go no blocks. We'll just take two. I'm not worried about that. Let's see. What do they have? We really don't want them to just send it back. All right. So they cast chart a course. Draw two cards, then discard a card unless you attack with a creature this turn. So this is the kind of thing where it's like you don't really want to syncopate this. You kind of want to just syncopate whatever they do with the cards that they draw. So we'll just let this ride. Now 
Now this guy here, uh, he's kind of pesky, so we're just going to go ahead and Essence Scatter him. We need to be able to do something with our mana. Alright, we get Vraska's Contempt, which is an excellent card. This is a good card for something like Champion of Wits. Um, but... I do think that... We go ahead and get our champion out because we can at least stay open with one with a syncopate that's just gonna hit for one. So like if they play like a five cost dude this next turn, we're gonna be able to syncopate it and exile it. So we'll take action here, we'll draw some cards. This is exactly what we wanted to draw. We wanted to just draw a couple lands. Honestly, at this point we could just pitch these away. And now we're filtering through our deck. Uh, we'll go and attack again with one one of our freebooters. Cards that we need to be aware of, though, are like Settle the Wreckage. We don't want to have our whole team exiled. That would kind of mess up our, our goals. Alright, so they strategic plan. They're probably trying to find land. Our opponent at this point, it's like... It, like, right now... We really want to draw a Teferi. If we draw a Teferi, we could start just like locking the game. Our opponent is on one blue mana. So this is this is really beneficial for us. We just want to make sure that um, you know we stay ahead of them on land drops and we just have more uh Alright, so they do find a field of ruin, which I imagine they'll be using to fix their mana. Yeah, they're just gonna do it now. They're going to hit Glacial Fortress, that's fine. We will go grab black mana. No, we'll grab blue. This is actually good for us because it helps us um, filter out. Um, they swing with their champion. No blocks. All right, we find Isolated Chapel, this is good. Now we can Vraska's Contempt. Okay, so if they Angel of Sanctions, I imagine if they Angel of Sanctions, they're going to take my Champion of Wits. And then I can Vraska's Contempt their Angel. And then get my Champion back and get extra value out of him. Which I think is pretty good. I think we just come in with two. If he blocks with Sacred Cat, I think I'm fine with that. All right, so now Angel of Sanctions is likely going to hit a Kite Sail Freebooter, which is even better because when we Vraska's Contempt it, um, we're going to get another Freebooter uh, trigger, which is just going to be great. So Swings with Champion, no blocks. That's fine. Do we see an extra land? Do we see an, an angel from the yard? Or are we just going to see a cat reanimated? We are about to find out. Plays Champion of Wits. He has three mana open. I think this is definitely a syncopate. Uh, so they have three mana untapped. Let's make it to where they have to pay four if they want this to resolve, or we'll syncopate it. Now, if they do have a negate, that's okay. Oh, they didn't. So we just exile the card. This is excellent. We see a Martyr of Dusk. This is something I'm not super worried about right now. And an Embalmed Cat. All right, so we've pretty much, pretty much, with the exception of the angel in the yard here, uh, made it through our opponent's deck. Okay, so we didn't draw a mana there, which would have been really good for us. But we do have Wizard's Retort, which is going to be a good counterspell. I think at this point, we just send it back. Yeah, at this point, we send it back. I see. So just so you know, under my deck list, I do have a Submerged Boneyard bone over here and a Plains 
you you won't see that over there on the side, but uh, I do have six mana currently. All right, so let's see what our opponent comes up with. They now have the city's blessing, so when we find a field of ruin, we're wa we're gonna want to uh, destroy that arch of Araska. Because that is just going to turn them on so quick, so fast. And we just don't want to deal with it. Do they have no attackers? It looks like no attacks. We just really need to draw a land. That way we can get our champion out. And just draw four cards. And then just kind of fill our hand back up. We want to beat our opponent on the arch. Because our opponent's going to start drawing cards. Um... You know what? Do I really care about them having Spell Pierce? Yeah, no blocks. Okay, we find a Glyph Keeper, which is pretty freaking good. Our opponent has one card. I honestly, I think we do this. We just Glyph Keeper to get a big threat on the board. If this isn't a counter spell, it's just going to get through. You could tap five and play Arch. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Show me your one cost counter spell for this. Um... I think we just get through. For one. Now, once we have Glyph Keeper resolved like this, we really just, like, we want to get to our next turn where we can Wizards Retort, protect the Glyph Keeper, and just start getting through. Oh, great. So they just play God Pharaoh's Gift straight up. Well, that's probably going to be it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. God Pharaoh's Gift is one of those cards that, like, once it rotates, it's going to be great because you won't have to deal with it or see it anymore. Yeah, and, and also, this is also important to note about Arena, is you don't really have people that are main decking, um, you know, enchantment removal. Most people are just doing permanent removal or, like, artifact removal, like... People aren't really doing artifact removal. And the reason is, is because, um, you know, it's a, it's kind of like a broken format where there is, um, does this thing have lifelink by itself? Fine, no blocks. Um, yeah, you will just, you will find that, uh, yeah, I think that's good. We get in with Kite Self Rebooter. But yeah, it's it's one round matches. And so, uh, yeah, we have a fail to find there. Uh, I think we could just Vraska's Contempt. It's see, ugh, God Pharaoh's Gift, dude, is so freaking annoying. Because now he's just going to get back a bunch of Martyrs of Dusk and Angel of Sanctions. Yeah, if only Vraska's Contempt did anything. It just doesn't do anything. Yeah, God Pharaoh's Gift, it's just like, normally I would go to a sideboard. I'd bring in stuff that, you know, interacts with artifacts. But I have my deck built in such a way that I should have just stayed open to counter that. But you never know when your opponent's playing God Pharaoh's Gift. Because they're just playing God Pharaoh's Gift because that's who they are. They're that person. This is the kind of person that really enjoys playing God Pharaoh's Gift. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Right? Now he's going to go to his combat. He's just going to get this big, beefy spell for free. It's hard for me not to be salty about this because it's just this card that just wins. It's just like an automatic win. It just wins. It's just extremely... 
good card that's just destroying my butt. No blocks. Let's see how it goes. Uh, negative seven. All right. Well, that was kind of fun, but isn't it wasn't actually. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this arena play Tuesday. Uh, I wish Teferi or Scarab God or anything really good had come to the battlefield, but we got owned by God Pharaoh's gift. Uh, I feel like uh, our opponent is playing, you know, like if I had countered that God Pharaoh's gift, we just went out. But, you know, I, I thought it would be a good idea to get Glyph Keeper out there, and obviously it wasn't. I needed to just hold the counter spell up and be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more patient. Uh, let me know, though. I want to know in the comments. Um... Where do you think the arena meta is going? Is there something that you would change? Is this deck kind of like one of the decks that's maybe been phased out, was really good in the beginning, but is now kind of like fallen to the wayside? Let me know that in the comments. Um, I'm constantly, you know, trying to play on here. You know, I don't really log my, my games. I need to probably keep a log of what they are. But anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this Arena Play Tuesday. I am Jake with Jake and Joel Magic. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If you enjoy watching me get super salty about God Pharaoh's Gift or other decks, consider following me on Twitter or on, on Twitter at Vizardrix86 and on my Twitch under the same handle, Vizardrix86. Other than that, just go down, click some buttons, consider subscribing. On the YouTube channel, we're never going to monetize, so subscribing is the best way to support the channel. Until next time, I hope you've had a great day, and I am tapped out.